Hello and welcome to Steve's Backyard Bonsai. Today I'm going to pour the foundation for my road. I don't think I'm going to do too much with it in terms of uh, making it actually look like a road today because I want to get to planting as soon as possible. The trees are leafing out nicely and I do not want to miss the opportunity to get them in the pot. All right, but before I start, I just want to show you something exciting. These are my Japanese Katsura trees, plus a little bug flying around that's bothering me. I gotta spray that. But, if I look carefully, there's one. Here's another. Here's another. These are Japanese Katsura trees, one of the cutest trees in my neighborhood. And I'm looking forward to bringing them along as bonsai. They have the most beautiful leaves, wonderful trunk. Another thing coming up, which you may have seen, is a wisteria. The one next to it looks a little hairy, but I have these pretty wet. I'm gonna let them dry out. So let's get to pouring some cement. Here we go with the pour. Once again, I hope I mixed it up right. Meaning I hope I mixed enough up. It's good and pourable. Just what you want if you're going into a form and just start pouring. I wish I had a vibrating table. Help settle this stuff in. Don't spill. Don't spill. This is fast setting, so you really want to start working it. And if it's not enough, well, you got to level it first before you take any action. I don't want to make a mess. Okay. It's going to take some slaking. This stuff is... I did not mix up enough. I don't think. But just not enough. So you got to level it out. Get it in all the crevices. And that means you use a smaller tool. Just feel your way around. Way down there. And if I didn't make enough, well, I got to do it now. goes uphill a little bit, so I gotta steal some from down below. Now since I'm gonna have to do another pour, it's good to rough this up. That'll help adhere. I gotta get a little more out from the bottom. I'm gonna switch tools. Yeah, there we go. I was hoping I'd have enough, but what can you do? I 
Okay, we'll let this set up a bit. You might be hearing my roof leaking. If I don't get to that, I'm going to really be upset. Okay. That's nice and compressed down there. And it is already hardening up. So, a few more nice cuts. Once again, this will help the next layer of concrete. I hear that much nicer, more nicely, whatever. Okay, I gotta clean this up. It has started raining, which makes it, ugh. oh well. Um, I'll be back at you. Okay, this is just about mixed up. Just adding a sprinkle, and I just mean a sprinkle of water from my fingertips. It's good and flowing. It's so pretty, I have to share it with you. I'm just going to get all of the residue into that before I pour. And out it comes. This should be sufficient, I think. I got to work it quickly. Okay. Got to work it quickly. Okay, a little bit more up here. This is just a matter of feel. I think I got it. We'll see. It would suck if I didn't. But... Maybe I did. Right. If it's going to be messy, it's going to be messy. I'll clean it up later. So. This is one of the flattest things I could find. me if any of my arm is obscuring this I'll try and you know, use a different tool okay this is gonna be nice Okay, so when the forms come off, this yellow line will be gone. The road gets, you know, smaller by a quarter of an inch. And this is a two-lane rural road. I will do my best to make it look like one. The way I do it, 
I don't want to have to come back when uh, when the when the trees have undermined it and and uh, it's starting to buckle, which is why I like to do it this way. And I know if my grandfather was alive, he would say the same thing. That would be Grandpa Sam, the plumber. He knew when a job was just right. I think he'd be okay with this. All right, I'm gonna let that set up. Take the forms off later on. I may have to wait till tomorrow. It's kind of a humid day. I think if it was hotter, I'd be able to do it today. But that's okay. I got to visit my mom, which is always fun. And I'd say this is a successful pour. All right. We'll see you after the forms come off. Nope, nope, nope. You'll witness the forms coming off. Okay, before I go, this is setting up beautifully, but before I go, I've had this internal struggle. I was going to use this stone here. I thought it was inferior. Actually, this would be the side you'd see. And it wouldn't have been bad. It would be to scale. But I really like this stone. The only reason I wouldn't use it is because it is so damned heavy. It's really heavy. This one weighs nothing in comparison. This one's really heavy. So what I decided to do was make it removable. You can grab it like this, but I'm just gonna grab it from here. Go straight up. I've got three PVC tubes cut to fit so that this can go back on. I will, I will make it so that it has to go back on only one way and maybe that'll be a, a, an impression in muck or something uh, when all is said and done. But this solved my problem of this stone being too heavy. All right, so once again, necessity is the mother of invention. That's not only my lesson, that probably goes back to Aristotle. I don't know. Who came up with necessity is the mother of invention? Who invented that? So this is a pot's eye view in 360, just so you can see the topography over the pot. And hopefully you can also see that I will be going low down on one side. This stone is going to help me maintain a higher level of bonsai soil on this side and I should be able to get something nice with a little bit of a valley here and some sort of planting here it'll all be connected this while it has no holes in there now as soon as I take this form off it's got um, it's an aqueduct <laughs> that's a, that's the way I can uh, explain it uh, now I'll give you the drone's eye view I can't actually set up a shot well enough to uh, give you a drone's eye view. Um, rest assured that none of this white will be showing when all is said and done. I'm going to secure those stanchions even more with um, JB Weld. That ought to do it. Uh, so I really can't give you the sense that I'm trying to give you, but there will be there will be topography brought about by this removable rock and the high walls of this particular pot. That's the plan anyway. So once again, thank you for keeping me company on this rainy day in my backyard. <laughs>